The sun was beginning to set, casting a soft orange glow over the village as Amy walked down the familiar path. Her steps were slow, her mind occupied by a whirl of thoughts, most of them about Golden Heart. Ever since the conversation they had in the days before, a weight had settled in her chest. It wasn't an uncomfortable weight, but more like something pressing at the edges of her thoughts, demanding her attention. The things he said to her, the way he looked at her when he spoke about caring for her. It was unlike anything she had experienced in a long time. She wasn't sure what to make of it, wasn't sure if she could handle someone caring so deeply for her when she had spent so long pushing people away. As she neared the outskirts of the village, she saw him, Golden Heart, standing near the edge of the forest, watching the horizon with a quiet stillness. His back was to her, but there was something about his posture, the way he held himself, that made Amy pause. For a moment, she hesitated, unsure if she should approach him, but something inside her pushed her forward. She had avoided him long enough, kept her distance for reasons that seemed to melt away each time she saw the kindness in his eyes. Golden Heart? She called out softly, her voice carried by the evening breeze. He turned at the sound of her voice, his eyes lighting up with a warm, gentle smile as he saw her. Amy? He said, his voice soft, but filled with a familiar warmth. I didn't expect to see you out here. Amy shifted uncomfortably, crossing her arms over her chest. I've been thinking. She admitted, her gaze dropping to the ground. About what you said the other day. About caring. Golden Heart's expression softened further and he took a careful step closer to her. I didn't mean to overwhelm you. He said gently. I just wanted you to know that I'm here for you, no matter what. Amy swallowed hard, her heart thudding against her ribcage. She wasn't used to this, to someone being so open, so honest. It felt like a test, like Golden Heart was offering her something precious, something fragile and she didn't know if she was ready to accept it. I don't trust people easily, she said after a long silence, her voice barely more than a whisper. Not anymore. Golden Heart nodded, his gaze steady. I understand, he said quietly. And I'm not asking you to, not right away. Amy looked up at him, searching his face for any sign of frustration or impatience, but all she saw was that same gentle understanding that had always been there. It made her heart ache in a way she couldn't quite explain. It's just... Amy hesitated, her words catching in her throat. She wasn't sure how to put it into words, the jumble of emotions that had been swirling inside her since they met. Hard for me to let people in. After everything that's happened, I don't know if I can. Golden Heart didn't flinch didn't press her for more. Instead, he just stood there, giving her the space to speak, to feel whatever she needed to feel. I've been hurt before. Amy continued, her voice trembling slightly. People I thought I could rely on, people I thought cared about me, they left, and I don't know if I can go through that again. Golden Heart's eyes softened, and for a moment he was silent, letting her words hang in the air between them. When he finally spoke, his voice was calm, steady. I know what it's like to be hurt, Amy, and I know it's hard to trust again after that. But I promise you, I'm not going anywhere. No matter how long it takes, I'll be here. Amy's breath caught in her throat. There was a sincerity in his voice that both comforted and terrified her. She had spent so long building walls around her heart convincing herself that it was safer to be alone, that letting someone in would only lead to more pain. But here was Golden Heart, offering her something she hadn't realized she needed, patience, understanding, a chance. I'm scared, Amy admitted, her voice barely audible. 
She hated admitting it, hated the vulnerability that came with those words, but she knew she couldn't hide from it anymore. I don't want to get hurt again. Golden Heart stepped a little closer, his expression still gentle. I won't rush you, he said softly. And I won't push you to trust me before you're ready. But I'm here, Amy, whenever you're ready. Amy looked up at him, her heart racing. And for the first time in a long time, she felt something shift inside her. It wasn't trust, not yet, but it was something close to it. A tiny crack in the walls she had built, a small opening that Golden Heart had patiently waited for. I don't know how to do this, she whispered, her eyes searching his. Golden Heart smiled, a soft, reassuring smile. You don't have to know right now. We'll figure it out together. Amy swallowed, her throat tight with emotion. She wasn't ready to let him all the way in, not yet. But for the first time she felt like maybe, just maybe, there was a part of her that wanted to try. And that in itself was a step she hadn't been sure she could take. She nodded slowly, her voice barely above a whisper. Okay. Golden Heart's smile widened, and for the first time, Amy felt a flicker of warmth in her chest, a warmth she hadn't felt in a long time. It wasn't trust, not yet, but it was something. And for now, that was enough.